Hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Um... I forgot, what all did we do last time? We saw left supports... We did some outfitting, didn't we? Let's see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did, yeah, we did, okay. Let's see... Now remember, it said last time we were going into the desert. And, uh... That certain people just weren't going to be able to move very well. So we just want to make sure that... Got some good stuff going. Uh, let's go ahead and get out there. <sighs> Depressed, huh? More of the Senator's dogs! Mark my words, the day will come when all slaves are free and you'll pay for your crimes. Uh-oh, we got a green tiger now. Okay, so horses are not going to be very effective in this map. So, yeah. It does let us bring more than usual, though. And uh, we might, let's go ahead and bring Volk. There's uh, treasures you can find, and thieves are guaranteed to find them. Uh, that are on set portions of of the map. We also want Leth to be over here because she needs to run on over because there's a secret character you can get by taking a Lagoos character to a specific spot of the desert as, as well. Look at our boss, shall we? Moirim, huh? Green, green tiger. He's got that demi band, so he's he's gonna stay transformed permanently. He's got 17 speed. All right. Well, not much to say. Let's get to it. And you can see how close, uh, the Lagoos get 4 gauge per turn, so you can see how close they are to transforming. Uh, most of these Lagoos are pretty weak. But, uh, don't overextend. With the, uh, low movement. It, when it's not a good thing. But also, uh, there's a bit of a uh, misdirection here, right? Like, it says this guy can move three, but he's going to transform. And then after he transforms, he can actually move four. So, watch out for that.
as far as for where the treasure is, uh, normally I'd look up, I'd have a second monitor and I'd look up where it's at, but I can't do that right now because Comcast decided to start up maintenance right as I started getting that set up. And uh, so I'll just have to go by memory. But I'm pretty sure there's a statue fragment over here somewhere. There's a white gem somewhere along here. The secret character is also over here. Um, there's boots somewhere around here. They're an item that give plus two movement permanently to the character you use them on. There's, I think, some sort of staff around in here somewhere. There's a coin all the way over here. And then there's like a silver blade somewhere. I don't precisely remember. See what I mean? They're transforming before they move, just like Leth. So now all these guys are suddenly very dangerous and have higher movement range. Oh snap, Titania's not fast enough to double the cat. Uh-oh. Little Soth is being attacked. Ow. Oh, but Soth doubles Raven. How about that? Uh oh, Hawk versus Soren. Well, Soren should be fast enough to not get doubled. <laughs> Ow. Stuff, good stuff. All right, so yeah, Soren did all the work on that that guy that's already transformed. We'll have Rolf be a brutal murderer, and Rolf woke up and chose violence today said, I quit fucking Ravens. Goodbye, Hawk. This is the first time we're seeing Hawk Lagoos. South hurt the tiger. He can, but the tiger can one-shot him now. Um, okay, so Jill's got a vulnerary. She can give the tiger what for, and then we can move South up beside her and trade the vulnerary and use it to get a little bit of uh, make sure South doesn't die, sort of thing. So the way finding treasure works is there's like a set number of tiles that could have the item in them and then the game rolls uh, against your luck for it. Wow, really? Okay, well, take a chance on getting a crit then. Ow, jerk. Wow. Oh, counter, how about that? 
At least you got some chippy XP thanks to counter. Let's see, what can we do here? Right. Slow pony moving. Ah, guard. Okay, this is an interesting skill. Uh, it's called guard for some reason, but what it actually is, um, it's a real misnomer. It's actually, I think, been mistranslated. Um, but what, what it does basically is when you attack the enemy. Uh, you have a chance. You're, you're a hit. If you hit them, has a chance to cancel their counter attack. In the next entry, it's called cancel, and that's what it actually is. Let's see. Boat monkey in the desert. Boat monkey, boat monkey. Once more, with feeling. Damn it, Titania! Holy shit! Like, is your biorhythm fucked up? You're supposed to be, like, best mom or whatever, and, and, and you're here not being best mom. Come on. Come on! Okay. Imagine being Jill, being all conflicted about being racist and whatnot, and like trying to, you know, like she's clearly trying to like not be racist, but then like having to kill people that are the people that you're like worried about being racist against. Like, holy shit, man, you know, it's kind of like a conundrum. I think Marsha... Well, we'll give Titania one more chance, because, okay. It's, it's whatever. Boat monkey. Oh, we killed the Steel Lance. We don't want to use all of our boat monkey up. Blech. transforming. Raven. Cat. They're running away.
Oh no, they're attacking Boyd. Whatever will Boyd do? Wow, oh, apparently take a lot of damage. God, I'm not used to having... I haven't had a Boyd this fragile in a long time. Be worse though, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> what is with this playthrough? It's driving me nuts. Level up for less. Pretty good level, too. Oh, nice dodge. Slick dodge there. Okay. I'm gonna box this cat in and Let's see. I'm gonna make a little bit of a use of Canto here. Marsh is so good in this one. They do her dirty in the second one, too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, there's the boots. That's the most important thing to get from this map. Well, other than the secret character. The secret character, the white gem, and the boots are pretty dang important. Yeah, attack, so do it. Do it now. Soth got all fancy for crit. He, he did three damage with it. <laughs> uh, makes sense, though. I mean, he's a little boy. He's, it's not like he's, you know, some amazing warrior.
I think Soren's gonna be the MVP of this map. God, all of my units are just like, they woke up and said, Fuck you, I don't give a shit about getting good level ups. Fuck you. Fuck you and your let's play. Bye, Tiger. Most unexpected. But certainly welcome. You know, I forgot to apply Vantage to someone that I really do want to apply it to. We'll do that before next map. Glad we took out that Tiger last time. I don't think Rolf can take two, two, two Tiger hits. Heh, what a wimpy raven. Can't even double jill! Holy cow! That is a wimpy raven. Okay. Now, I was pretty sure there was like a staff or something somewhere around this... Yeah, physic. There we go. Probably send mist uh, on over. Void styling again. Let's see, as far as Marcia goes, we can send her over too.
man, that cat's pretty strong. Even with the Lagoose Guard, she took five damage. Okay, so. I don't remember exactly what the tile it is, but one of the tiles over here, uh, there's a secret character, and if you move onto the tile with a Lagoose, he joins your party, and you get him and his weapon and everything he's holding, and some secret base conversations, and if you don't, then he gives you his sword and he tells you to fuck off, more or less, so... It's sad, but, uh, that's the way it is. I'm trying to remember where other... Well, that's a coin. I'm trying to remember where other stuff is. There's a silver, silver blade you can find. Um, in in a in a certain spot. So, oh, look, one of our horsemen finally got to do something. How about that? But I don't remember where this the silver blade is. Without, I guess I could try to look it up on my phone. My phone has, you know, the the data usage. I am really bad at at cell phone usage, so like I hardly ever think about doing that. And my phone's from 2012, so uh, it's mostly used for texts and pornography. Let's see, Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. Desert Map. Oh, sweet. The first image preview. Okay, so that's where the silver blade is. And we got the physic, we got the coin, we got the guard scroll. We got the boots. Okay, okay. This is very helpful. Okay, we got to get another coin. Silver blade is like right here. Uh oh, you guys are untransformed. Gotta get your cheeks clapped. There's the silver blade. All right, we just got. There's a shine book, the white gem, and the statue fragment. So, Titania, you're gonna finally kill this cat, okay? No excuses. You're gonna kill this cat. Now that he's not transformed, there shall be no more missing. Then you shall kill him. Okay, and right here. Hmm? Hmm? I sense something. Ugh, must just be my imagination. A female cat! Splendid! I've not seen your face in these parts before. Ah! W w where, where did you come from? Oh, I see that I've startled you. My apologies. Who are you? If you wish to learn someone's name, isn't it polite to introduce yourself first? I am Leth, from Gallia. And I am Stefan. I live here in this desolate wasteland, playing at being a hermit. 
Is that so? Well, don't let me interrupt your... life. Oh no, please don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. And? What? Why are you standing there staring at me? I'm interested in Gallia's Beast Tribes. Fascinating, really. I have an idea. Can we go somewhere and talk? I don't think so. Why not? My commanders and I are in the middle of a battle. I have no time to chit-chat with you. Very well, then I will help you. And once this battle is finished, we'll have time to converse, yes? I suppose. Perhaps. Right, off we go then. What sort of lunatic have I found now? Okay, so the white gem is like right here. And we will maneuver Soth up there to get it for certain if they don't get it. Also, we got Stefan. He's a level 8 sword master. He comes with a vague kati, which is a S rank sword. Pretty amazing. Uh, he also comes with the sword master special skill that you would learn from an occult scroll. Uh, five attacks that deal half damage. So basically it's 0.5 damage less than a crit, more or less. Only trouble with it is, is I believe it... I think it uses up weapon durability? So... I don't think it can activate unless your weapon has at least five durability. And uh, he's a real big boy. He's bigger than Boyd, I think. Yep, he's bigger than Boyd. Crazy. All right. Uh, move Volk over here just for uh, an attempt at the statue fragment. And I think we'll be okay now. I don't think we need mist. So, let's get going. Come on, tiger. I knew you couldn't resist my hot red head. Alright, another level for Titania. It's about time, huh? Titania, not you too! Don't do this to me! God! This is some of the worst level ups I've ever seen! Oh, there's the white gem. Never mind, Soth. Never mind. Now, the statue fragment should be here. Yep. Okay. And I'll just attack you with the hand axe. You beefy kitty. <sighs> and then Marcia will lob javelins at you. How much damage do you do to Ike? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, and how much does Boy do to you? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay. Let's see. The Shine Tome, which... We're not going to be able to use the Shine Tome anyway. Because I don't have Reese promoted. But... Um, let's see. It's, okay, so it's actually... won't be able to reach it either way. Okay, so we're just going to have Ike use a Vulnerary real quick. And then... Let's see, we got the Statue Fragment, we got the White Gem, we got Stefan. Yeah, literally all we're missing is the... The Shine Book. So... There it is. And we'll be able to sell that for a pretty penny. Okay, start with Rolf.
but you're so young. I, I'm not scared of you. It doesn't matter if you're a Laguz. An enemy is an enemy. Please, stop. Why are young cubs like you on the battlefield? Why? To chip damage you, you green sexy tiger. If what you say is true, if you really aren't bandits, then stop fighting. If this is some kind of mistake, we can talk it over. Ha, I won't fall for that trick. That's how your kind always deceives and traps us. Here I come! Hey! My companions and I are not thieves. I'm sure you could not care less, though. Get chipped. Yatch. I want to get left over there for a conversation. Like, we could kill Morim. Uh, I could have killed Morim with, uh, with Oscar, I think. Well, no, wait, Oscar doesn't have a javelin. But, I, you know, I, I, could, I, I could settle his hash next turn, but uh, unless he moves and settles his own hash, then I think we'll, I'll be okay not, not settling his hash. I feel kind of sorry for him though. He doesn't. They didn't give him a siege point, so like you can't, you can't exp abuse him. And uh, he, um, so he doesn't heal. He doesn't move. He doesn't have any terrain advantage. God, I'm sorry. Ugh, I couldn't get the mic away in time. Ugh. I just started to feel it in my nose. I reached my hand up to... to do something about it. And I couldn't do anything about it. You so... can't shove... You can't shove a Build 6 Lagoos character... That's so strange. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna let Moram get an attack in on Boyd, I think. I sneeze so hard that, like, I've got pain in my shoulders and upper arms. <laughs> Ow. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe it'll toughen Boyd up and make him get a good level for once. Take him out, Lith. Listen to me, brother. Come to your senses and stop this. Heed my words. Do not throw away your Lagoo's pride and run with humans like... What did you say? You are the ones... You are one to speak of pride? You, as, you who associate with a band of common thieves? This is a waste of time. Come, I will show you the truth of my words. Uh...
I won't let you take more RM. Stay back, little one. You are not too exposed. If you want more RM, you'll have to kill me first. You are... Yes, he is a Bjork child. I claimed him when he was little more than an infant. He has nothing to do with us subhumans. Stop lying. I'm here because I want to be. Who's the leader of the Lagoon's Emancipation Army? I am. You're a big jerk, Mar. I'm trying to cover for everyone and get yourself killed. I won't allow it. Little one. Hey, I don't care who the real leader is. A Lagoon who calls himself a subhuman is protecting a kidnapped Bjork who claims to lead a Lagoon's Emancipation Army. Do I have that right? Because if I do, I have no, absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. Can someone please tell me what is going on here? Alright, please go over that again. It's been customary throughout Binyan's history to keep Lagoos as slaves. That's right. But that's in the past now. Twenty years ago, all slavery was outlawed and all Lagoos were freed. As far as the general public is concerned, that is exactly what happened. So there's a portion of society that willingly breaks the law? The commoners obey, but there are still many Lagoos slaves in the homes of nobles. Warim and I brought this to the attention of the senators, but they would not listen. That's why we gathered our fathers. We break into the homes where slaves are kept and help them escape. Of course, the nobles can't let this be known publicly, so they brand us thieves and turn us into wanted outlaws. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ike's gonna help. But how is he gonna help? Is he gonna talk to the Apostle about it? Oh, it's a sunset. Nishala, stop this foolishness. Where are you taking me? Tell me. It's only a little farther. I'll tell you once we've arrived, just as I promised. I left no word with Tabarn. If I had known we were coming this far, I would have left a message. Serenay's Forest. Huh. It's a lot of dead trees. Dude, you know what happened here. The ancient tongue. It's been many years since I heard it last. You can still speak it. I called you a groveling toady to humans and labeled you traitor. I was overly harsh. I p apologize. Bird folk have no night vision whatsoever, huh? Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, Duke Tannis cannot sit still. He is literally quivering with anticipation. It's not pretty. I bet it isn't. Just make sure that mountain of sweat stays hidden. If Rayson catches so much as a glimpse of his bulk, he will take wing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This dastard is being a dastard. Da 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 da. <sighs> Chapter sixteen: The Atonement. All right, we're in the second half of the game. Man, listen to that harpsichord. This is something everyone should see. There can be no doubt. I gaze upon the last living wonder of the Serenis royalty. Those golden locks. 
Witness how they gather in the morning sun and multiply its brilliance. The gentle luster of those argent wings manifest proof of royalty as sure as I am alive. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent. A true work of art wrought in flesh and feather. All this beauty, mine. The fortune I've paid to the Raven King seems like a pittance compared to this treasure. What? Nasala sold me? To you? Oh, ho, ho, ho! You are exquisite even in rage. Now if you behave yourself, I'll grant you a life of luxury. Oh, my nose! My beautiful nose! You're one to talk. We are no thieves. We are trying to free the lagoons that these filthy aristocrats hold in captivity. You lie. Countless noble houses even now keep lagoons as servants or entertainment, or worse. In the Senate, those vast windbags grant tacit approval by doing nothing. Ike, why ever would you bring such an ill-mannered rogue to meet me? What is it you're planning? If anyone's planning something, it's you. Really? And what could you possibly mean by that? Your last mission showed us the slave trade, and now you've put us in contact with an underground emancipation group. In the very beginning, I found this whole arrangement a little odd. You have more vassals than you can use, yet you hire us for these missions? Your motivations have me puzzled. Oh, I see, and have you solved this puzzle of yours? You want to expose the depravity of the inner circles of power, but you don't want the general public to know that the majority of the Senate is involved in slavery. And to think, I thought you were as untutored as a wild monkey. You're actually quite bright. I didn't figure it all by out all by myself. I have companions whom I trust with my life. They helped. The Apostle is aware of the Lagoon slavery. On top of that, it appears she intends to do something about this problem. Are you serious? Uh huh. Okay. Marsha was the MVP, not Soren. Soren tried, Soren tried. Well, let's talk to Moram first. Little one, how, how was it? Were you treated roughly? Did they attempt to punish you? No, it was nothing. And the Apostle? I thought she'd be some mean old hag, but she's just a kid. Really, she's even shorter than I am. L little one, you must lower your voice and watch your tongue. What? Why? Rest easy, Moirim. Everyone in this room is with me. The Apostle has no ears here. That is good. Moirim? Speaking ill of the Apostle here is considered treasonous. Keep it up and they'll kill you. Or threaten to. Oh man, Warren was a slave once. Uh -huh. Damn, that's pretty rough, man.
princesses are princesses because they're born into royal families, right? Are you going to deny that? You were born a Bjork and raised in a country of a lenient social structure. That is an enviable life. Aw, Ike will never understand their pain. Aw. Aw. All right, well, let's see what this Stefan guy has for us. Three stars. Three stars. What the... Um, who are you? How long have you been a member of my troop? I joined after the battle in the sands. My name is Stefan. I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. Why are you here? In part, it's because I'm curious. But mostly, it's the guiding hand of fate that has led me to you. Huh? In the desert, I watched the dance of your sword. You have a unique style, but it is incomplete, filled with hesitation. You have recently lost your teacher, no? Uh, luckily, your foundation is quite strong, which is why I can be of service. Your technique, how powerful will it be, be when perfected? I would like to know. Who, who are you? You can learn the dance of blades from me without knowing my history, can you not? What say you? Let your heart decide. And you can be like, Nah, fuck it. But I think it's a cool thing to have this mysterious beefcake of a man just show up out of the desert and be like, Hey, hey, want to be a better swordsman? And for that, we get another occult scroll. I like it. I like it. I dig it. I think it's pretty great. Ooh, Marsha and Rolf can support again. Incredible, you hit the target 26 times in a row. Well, my goal was 30. That's a lofty goal, and you came close. You've become an impressive archer, Rolf. But I can't afford to miss a single shot in battle. The man who taught me how to fire a bow told me that once. I can't be happy with just 26 hits. You push yourself hard, Rolf. That's admirable. Aren't you strict with yourself, Marcia? Mm, what, me? Piff, of course. I'm stricter than a poached egg on toast. Be firm with yourself and others. That's what the first officer in my old unit told me. But you're still a child? I'm not a child. Those days ended when I, the instant I took my first life. I suppose you're right. You've had to grow up fast traveling with a group of hardened sellswords like this. Do you worry about me because I'm young? Well, sure, who wouldn't? Well, stop it. I can take care of myself. I've grown strong. True enough. Sorry if I underestimated you. Oscar and Kyron can talk again. Oscar! Hi, Kyron. Still hanging in there, huh? I can't take it anymore. Come back! Rejoin the proud brotherhood of the Crimean Knights! This is sudden. As a former Crimean Knight, surely you have some sense of loyalty. What say you? Rejoin for king and country! The homeland is in danger, and any who used to be Crimean Knights should be rushing to her aid! You have a point, and I'm glad I'm able to help rebuild the homeland, even if it is as a mercenary. I'm not here to make you glad, I'm here to convince you to be a knight again! You're not fulfilling your allegiance to sweet Crimea by being a mercenary. How can you sleep at night? I love Crimea, but I'm happy here. I want to serve Ike as a member of the Grail Mercenaries. Forever. Darn, why, what draws you guys to such a life? What could make the mercenary life so appealing that you would sell your loyalty to our glori glorious homeland, Crimea? Aha, could it be the f nice fat salary? That's it. I remember you saying that you needed money. Ho, loose lips sink ships. If I wanted money, I would have stayed with the Crimean Knights. I only get about half of that now. What in the... B oh, wake up, man! Can't you see you're being duped? Honor, fortune, glory, it can be yours. I doubt it. Bah, I say you're hopeless. Who's hopeless? You know what, I think I'll have Mist talk with Titania. Oh, Titania's gonna help Mist do laundry. Oh, Mist is doing everyone's laundry.
Oh, Titania's gonna take Miss Chopping. That's adorable. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's stink. Let's stink messed up a level. She deserves it. Yeah, I'm gonna dink. Soth up another couple levels too, I think. Soth, my boy, get some more strength. Thank you. Oh, you're capped on speed. Capped on speed. That's pretty good. The skill's getting there, too. Alright. Let's see. I'm just going to give those into the convoy. Uh, give those into the convoy. And that silver blade, too, while you're at it. Okay. Oops. Uh, you can take your sword back. <laughs> Anyone can actually use the vague Kati. They just have to have an S rank in swords. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got Tormod now. He comes in as a level seven mage with I mean for level seven those are actually pretty decent bases. Especially his defense. Um, he also has fairly high strength because he's got the heaviest books. Um, but of course, he can also use the other magic types. He also has a personal skill called Celerity, which basically is essentially boots um, as a skill. So he's got a movement of, uh, well, I guess seven, but when he promotes, it'll go up to eight. So he, he moves almost as far as a Cavalier, basically, uh, which can be really nice. I've heard a lot of good things about him. A lot of the YouTube community calls him Tour God. Um, I've personally never used him. In my opinion, he comes in way too late as a Soren replacement, more or less, or an Ileana replacement. And if I was just, you know, like, I guess he is a bit better than Ileana, but... I mean, if I had been using her, she'd probably be, be close to Soren's level by now. And, uh, in my opinion, there's no way he's as good as Soren, so, I don't know. I... I, he just comes in too too late in the game, in my opinion, for a mage. Uh, Morim, on the other hand, he's basically like Mordecai plus one. Like, uh, Mordecai is only level two. Uh, that's what he starts at. But even if he got, like, speed every level, he wouldn't be as fast as Morim. So, yeah. Plus, Morim comes with the Demi Band, uh, which is full-time transformation. And you can actually give that to any of your Lagus. So he's actually a really sturdy, sturdy mid-game option that you can incorporate into your army with almost no problem. And he could last till the end of the game. I've never used him uh, all out. I'd like to try someday, but I don't think this Let's Play is going to be the place where I do that. And then, let's see... As far as skills go, I want to add Vantage to Void. You could give him Colossus, but Colossus in this game is pretty bad. Um, it's the Warrior Specialty skill, and the way it works is if his constitution is higher than the enemy's, uh, I think he has like a skill times two chance to trigger Colossus, and it will add the difference in their constitution to his damage, I think, after defense. So it's supposed to be like a, you know, like, the, I guess the intention of it is if he can't quite Oko something, the, the, the chance, it's supposed to be able to make him one-shot stuff. But all it winds up do it being most of the time is just extra damage that you don't need. Uh, and it, it, you can't force it to trigger when you need it. 
and it doesn't do anything special than extra damage. So other skills like Adept or anything else are pretty much just better than it wholesale. But we're going to give him Vantage because Vantage is going to get rid of his defense problems almost. Because um, in this game, Vantage is a 100% activation rate. So when he gets attacked on the enemy phase, um, you know he's gonna be phenomenal. Like he'll he'll go first, and if he one shots them, then they die. And that's gonna happen for anything that's squishy, like a mage or an archer. So uh, it's something I I look forward to seeing happen. Then as far as the guard skill goes. Um, I guess we could give it to someone who's vaguely fragile. Um, I don't. I don't really know. Oh, occult gives one. Seems interesting, but. Not really. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just give it to, to Leth. It's not game-breaking or anything, and it doesn't even trigger all of the time. But when it triggers, um, it should help her out with her durability slightly. I don't know. Okay, and... Let's go shopping. Look at all this stat-increasing stuff we've got. It's amazing. Let's sell some stuff. Let's sell this white gem, this red gem. I think we can go ahead and sell the torches. I don't remember there being any other Fog of War maps. Um... And then, I think, uh, I don't think it really does anything, per se, but, so it might be a better idea to just sell these, but I've always liked making my boys big. Um, I have the erroneous belief that it might help with their growth, but, uh, we'll see. I, I don't think it actually will, it's just like a superstition I have, more or less. Uh, grab that killer bow. And the, the Lagoose bow would actually be pretty good to take. After he breaks the iron bow, we'll probably grab that for him. Uh, let's see. Let's take the killer axe and... Forge. Can we forge steel bows yet? We can. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and forge a steel bow that uh, is pretty good. I'm not going to spend that much on it. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I might as well shell out for six crit. And we're going to name this bow... The bro angle. It's gotta be green to match with our our bros. And uh, it's D D bow with 14 attack power. So that makes it pretty damn good. Uh, as far as Rolf goes. Uh, we'll have him use up the killer bow, and his, the bows he's using right now, and then we'll probably pass him down the bruh. And uh, the bro angle will stay on Boyd. It's not for this chapter, really, um, but the likelihood of me actually breaking it is extremely low. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Let's see, how close are you to level one? Okay. It's also, I need to remind myself to, um, uh, 
and we still can't buy hand axes. Oof. So, there is one more thing we can sell. Actually, several more things we could sell if we really want to. Let's see. Let's sell... Let's sell fire. And I'm going to sell Tormod's books, because I have honestly no intention of ever using him. Uh, we'll probably not be using her either. Kind of getting into the point of the game where um, it's like tempting to start spreading out a bunch of experience points and using more people because the maps are letting us use more people. But it's also the point of the game where, like, uh, you know, we, we probably shouldn't do that at the same time. Also, the Silver Blade is pretty cool, it's got 15 attack power but only 60 hit. It's basically like if you made a sword into an axe, more or less. Um, Hike's almost there. Any other supports? I don't think so. Alrighty then, well. So I put all the prep for the next time on on at the end of this video. So if you're bored, if you were bored, it, you know it's fine. Sorry about that. And next time we'll start off by going into the chapter itself. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. And I'll see you again. Excuse me. Sorry. Have a good one.